The Roebuck Plains, just south of Broome, are a flat, tidal catchment where salt water flows from Roebuck Bay and during the wet season, millions of litres of fresh water travel back into the bay after heavy rainfall. Approximately 14 kilometres long, the plains are a massive wetland food bowl attracting hundreds of birds, insects and crustaceans. Thanks to the down-to-earth nature of a Broome local, but mostly the offer of a carton of beer, we were able to borrow this sweet little tinny and head off on our most awaited part of our Kimberley trip, Port Smith. Sixty kilometres south of Broome is the Lagoon Hideaway that is Port Smith. In our opinion, one of the Kimberley's best kept secrets. Here the fish are biting all year round. Our trip this time was cut short due to Cyclone Blake and we left two days earlier than expected. Not the worst place in the world to be stuck, but that's the wet season for you. Hot, humid, unpredictable and sometimes violent. This time of the year, the land heats up much more than the water, creating low pressure troughs which suck in the moisture from the ocean. The air cools and yep, you guessed it, it rains. Rain is fairly localised and heavy, as you can see from our fun trip into Port Smith. for the tide to come in a bit so we're gonna go try get some crabs some muddies a couple hours two three hours and we're out there we are um, we're down in Port Smith uh, Sarah and uh, mum and dad have gone for a fish and I'm gonna go for a go for a wander through all the mangroves and stuff and see if we can see if I can get a couple of mud crabs for lunch um, just got to watch the tide it comes in really quick so we're at low tide now so I'm just going to cruise along here look for some holes um, I've got over here got a crab hook they're completely legal you're allowed to use them over here but Queensland New South Wales it's a big no-no so makes it a bit easier than bare handing them but still got to find them so there's a lot of storm activity around today. Like, if you look around, everywhere you look, there's storms here in the background. And it's hard, you don't know where they're coming from. They come anyway, any direction, especially <laughs> being pretty green over here. I don't know what directions, what, especially out here, so keep my eye on them as well. Just gonna look for a bit of muddier ground. Um, last time we we're here, we got some good jacks, heaps of cod, um, got some muddies. I usually go over the other side for muddies, but um, they wanted to go for a fish off the rocks there. So I'll go and have a quick stroll along here and see what I can find. A bit of exploring also. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna try and get some bait for blue bone now. I've got one in here already. I'll try and net this time because these little buggers can pack a good bite. See this little crab here? This little fella right here. Unreal. Unreal bait. Just keep an eye. There you go. See? This little fella here. 
awesome bait. Right. Where'd you go? There he is. There he is. So that's why I bought the net. Makes it so much easier. Something with decent holes, you can just sift all the. Something with decent holes, you can just sift all the sand out. And um. And then keep getting them. We're on about 15 or 20, and then don't have to keep them alive because I'll show you how to rig them up later. And a couple of little secrets that a fella down here showed me last time, which makes it makes it heaps easier. Your crabs last a lot longer, so I'll show you that soon. But for now, we'll go and um, go and have a look at some some muddy muddy holes. Found a good hole here. Look at this. See if you can hear or feel anything moving on the end of your hook. Can't hear anything there. But... Oh. <laughs> That's a big hole. Big hole to have no crab. Can't get him. I can feel him in there. I was, I was up to my shoulder, <laughs> up to my shoulder deep, and had about four foot of um, gaff down there. So I'll look for another one. Come back soon. All right. So strolling along the bank, I was changed up my tune. I was um, walking up through the mangroves and that, but come down through the bank and um, do this. Here's a nice, nice big one. Just lay in there. Hello, darling. You're allowed to keep um, male and female crabs over here in WA, so she's coming home for lunch. Um, probably shouldn't be too close to the water. Last time, while it's pretty unlikely down here, you get done by a croc there was a big croc hanging around um, in one of the creeks just back a bit so <laughs> I'll still keep my eyes peeled while I'm out here by myself see if, uh... Hello. <laughs> Ooh, she's angry yeah. what are you so angry about oh, come on <laughs> they go in in backwards they can defend themselves really easy anything coming like me in to get them so until I throw out the gap a bit and she's not so angry there we go good girl good girl oh, no, there you go there you go good girl darling there we go it's the first one she's a good one Full, you beauty. You just get bundles of oysters hanging off mangroves here. How good's that? Ghost crabs. You wouldn't go. You wouldn't go hungry around here. There's a little baby mud crab there. Wouldn't go hungry around here too quickly. Yeah, this looks good. This looks heaps better. Little um, little creeks running off the main river. Heaps of rocks up through there. Heaps of mangroves. That's exactly what you want to see. So I'm going to go for a stroll up here. Well, been, oh look at this a snake. I 
know much about snakes, so I won't uh, I won't mess with him. Um, how's the saying? Been walking for about half an hour up here now, and there's not much to see, crab-wise. But um, now I'll go around this. You never know deep holes <laughs> around here. Make me way back out and just have another look around along the uh, water's edge there, along the rocks and stuff. Um, seem to be a little bit more productive, more holes. One of the biggest muddies I've seen. Just right there on the water's edge, but there's no chance I'm going to get him. Ah, look at the size of him. All right, got one over here. Do not want to let this one go. Yeah, big one. Yes. <sighs> you beauty. You ripper, we got lunch. Two's all we need, so I'll quit and I'll go back. But he's a beauty, look at him. Cod, you got anything? Another little yep. cod. Another little cod. Yeah, they hit hard. A Malibu cod. Jack, well done, Mum. Oh man, nice <laughs> Jack. Keep it cool. Good right? girl. I've got the catch of the day. <laughs> That's a good Jack. Well done. That Look was that. fun. Look, she's it went there. under the rock, didn't Look it? Yeah, see, on, yep. on that Shit bait. Yeah, oh, bait. bait. Good yep. one. Yeah, and I've got the catch of the day. Better. Timber. Oh, <laughs> well, you got Australia. Yeah, got Australia. Yeah, yeah, that'll do it. That's Part about four hundred. I think you should measure it. Maybe get to Jack. Yeah. Shy, three point eight. <laughs> shy. Just shy. You can measure that. Jump, didn't you? Why are you allowed? Another Jack. Oh, but two, three, five each, four each of them. Yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah. Little, little Jack. It's so nice Beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. I know, just stunning. They're here. They're here, two in a row. That's gone! Oh, we got it. Shark. Yeah, shark. Shark. Right, there you go. That's Looks yours. like a lemon shark. That's yours, bub. You got it? You got it? Oh, that's a good Jack. Yeah. 
Well done. Oh, well done, Bob. That's a Yes. Where did you say I should throw my line? Is that you? Yeah, wherever you want. <laughs> <laughs> he goes that out that way. <laughs> What's a dumpy yeah. throw too? Dad she goes to show. Well. Don't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Dad was having to go up my throw yeah, too. He's oh, like, oh, that was half a throw. <laughs> Diversity of the uh, fish in this little estuary. I'm trying to work out how. <laughs> that one. <laughs> There's diversity. Oh, he's just spat it out. Oh, no, he's got it again. <laughs> diversity. Jacks, cod, sharks. Had a cod on by the looks of it. Yeah. There's his head. Wow. Yeah, look, there's a big shark. shark. Ah. <laughs> Give me my hook back. Don't get much of a rest here. Oh, I had it. Now we got to watch for the sharks. Jeez. It's just jack after jack after jack after jack here. Oh, get here. <laughs> What's that? Six or so now? Seven? Yeah. Throwing them back, obviously. Get here. What do you got here? This place is unbelievable. What a gorgeous little species of fish. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> jacks in about mm, an hour and 25 minutes now. Kept two for a feed and chucked eight back. Here you go, host. Oh, this is a big cod because it's playing dead. It's a big cod because it's playing dead. What is it? Oh. Oh, Jackie looking? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come out, coming in like a trooper. Side hook, that's oh, why. Yeah. Oh no, Bell wonder! Hook side hook! <laughs> <laughs> like a talent! <laughs> That's not a shark. Definitely not a shark. Hundred percent that's not a not a shark. That just hit me and went like a panicky head shake straight under the rocks. Well he's on, so he's gonna wait. Oh, there he is. Look, yep, that's it. Not 
pearl trout. What is he? He's coming up high. Oh, it's Jack, is it? Oh, well done. Beauty. Oh, Grab him. <laughs> Is that your PB? Oh yeah. Oh, Killed wow. it.
If you enjoyed this episode and are keen to see more, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and check us out on Facebook and Instagram.